Well, we have to first define genocide, right? Because um, one of the problems and the controversy is that some people who want to oppose the idea say, well, you can't uh, call something a genocide if it happened before the word was created. And that's rubbish because before murder became a word in the English language, killing someone uh, would be an act of murder, even if the word was not yet created. So the word genocide was actually created by a Polish Jewish lawyer, Raphael Lemkin, and he created the word genocide by combining two words, a Latin uh, word genus, which means people or race, and side or side, which means killing off, right? So the same suffix we get, suicide, homicide, infanticide, the same side, it means killing off an infant. So genocide, Latin, genus, and side, Greek, were essentially um, taken to mean uh, the killing of a group of people, right? So this is 1944. He's a Jew, Polish Jew. He's writing about genocide and he's looking at the experiences of Armenia at the turn of the century. So he creates a word genocide. So the point I'm making is that though the word was only created in 1944, uh, 45, it describes killings that happened long before. So what, what does the word mean? The word genocide, according to the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, it says genocide means any of the following, and there are about five criteria, right? It starts with an intent. If your intent is to destroy in whole or in part a clearly identified group, such as a national group, an ethnic group, a racial group, a religious group, and from the Canadians, uh, destruction of the First Peoples, a cultural group that would be genocide. So what are the five criteria of genocide? Because we have to understand that. The first one is killing, but you don't necessarily have to kill it in order to, for it to be a genocide. First is killing. The second is causing serious body harm or mental harm, right? The third, is deliberately inflicting conditions on the life of the people of a group that is calculated to bring about their physical destruction in whole or in part, right? That's three. Four, imposing measures that would be geared towards preventing births within the group, right? Five, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. So if we use that definition I gave and those criteria, we realize that we can apply the term and the category of genocide to many things that preceded the creation of the term genocide. So right? hold on, hold on two seconds. Sorry to cut you, right? Based on, based on, <laughs> based on that definition, right? Um, yes. Uh, in modern times, I think, are we in the genocide now minus the fifth? depending on child services, because it seemed like black people in America qualify for all four categories. But, 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 but we have a long history of, um, you know, thinking of uh, the treatment of black people in America as essentially tantamount to a genocide, right? Um, and the reason why I, 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 I like this categorization, though it is incomplete, is that in 2001 at the Durban Conference, the World Conference Against Racism, the United States was one of the governments that opposed calling slavery a crime against humanity, right? And um, several African countries sided primarily because of fear of losing um, some development aid. But the point is, if you look at the criteria, the intent is what matters. It's not whether you kill everyone in a group, because we often think of genocide as removing everyone, but slavery, so let us just call it as most of us are thinking. The process of enslavement and the conduct of enslavement was a genocide. In um, Swahili, we call it the ma'afa, which means the great tragedy, right? Why? Because you essentially take millions of people from Africa and between 1554, when the Portuguese begin to send people, uh, Africans to Brazil, 
until the end of the trade in Africans. You're talking almost 27 million people would have left Africa, uh, but maybe only about nine would have made it to the new world, right? But even more contemporaneously, the treatment and the attempt to, 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 to destroy and hold her in part because of policies geared towards uh, policing black bodies, geared towards the destruction of black families by the school to prison pipeline, uh, the massive rate of incarceration of blacks vis-a-vis -vis other people that we make up 13% of the population in the US, but make up about 40% of the prison population. Then we understand that genocide is not just a question of history, it's a question of what is unfolding today. Thank you for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, and